podcast. February 14 is almost here. Singles, you know what I'm talking about. If you're single by choice... I'm a single parent by choice. You probably don't care. But if you've been searching for the one, this could be your loneliest time of year. The time you're sent on a guilt trip just for being single. Hard to believe he's still single. Mom keeps asking when you're getting back out there. It's also about the time you'll start reading articles like five zodiac signs that would make the perfect couples, 12 ways to date differently, how to escape the friend zone. You're blind to love. You don't even see it. I'm here to tell you that reading articles written by people like me won't improve your situation. It's not that I don't want to get married. It's just that this opportunity has come up for me to go to India. If you really want to find someone, you've got to get out there and search. I'll even tell you where. Really? The streets around your neighborhood. If you go on runs or walks around your area, you're bound to see new faces. Wow. Hello there. Who are you? Do this often, and the faces become familiar. Everyone just calls me Beck. You can start with a smile and slowly work your way up to... Everyone calls me Joe. Conversations will gradually build from there. You have a nice day. Don't be in a rush. If there's an interest, that'll build too. You have one yourself, Joe. The local park or coffee shop. People generally go to parks and coffee shops to unwind. They're not always looking for something social. I don't know you. So don't be offended if you don't get the response you're expecting. Am I supposed to know you? Smile, and over time, Who are you? their response should give you an idea of where you stand. Don't come near me. So those are places where people might be friendly and open to meeting others. It's actually not a bad idea. But I'd be neglecting my civic duty if I didn't mention places not to go scouting for a partner. Can you just not? Can we not? Not right now. <laughs> Your gym or boot camp. The gym is to keep fit. Boot camps are to get the heart racing. People go there for one reason, to work up a sweat, not taste yours. It's a crime. Please don't interrupt people at a gym unless the barbell is about to snap your neck. Somebody help me! They'll probably write you off for not knowing a thing about lifting, but at least you won't be dead. Your office or work environment. Don't mix work and pleasure. I've seen office relationships turn sour. If you think parental interference in your love life's bad, you don't even want to imagine human resources. Don't have a romantic relationship in the workplace. Keep relationships professional in a professional space. So it's not gonna be easy. Remember, all relationships start with friendship. Our world is full of people, so you're never truly alone. Be kind to everyone. Give love and learn to receive. We're going to have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. Happy Valentine's Day. I want all of you forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> MTE Podcast is produced by me, Niall Fernandez. All thoughts and opinions are my own. I make a new podcast each week, so if you like them, share them with your friends.